Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are currently building a few things. Okay, more than a few things. We're building a lot of things. <laughs> That's a whole lot of things, for sure. We are exporting rubber, apparently. That's probably a good sign. And we have a lot of railways being constructed, right? Ironclads are expensive and we have a lot of low market access. We're working on all of that, I believe. So that should be good. Those will be done in a few weeks here. Plus 121k? Really? I love it. That's great. So we're going to go after Oregon here fairly soon, I think. That's pretty obvious. We'll go after Oregon and Upper Canada. Eventually we'll fight Russia. But for right now... Well, if Russia were to join, we might actually do that. Well, how are we doing on our infamy? We are at 47.8 infamy right now. Okay, that's noted. Uh, for the moment, what is this? Diplomatic play in the Caribbean. We're not actually interested in the Caribbean. We're going to declare neutrality there. Cool. So we do need to get our economy to the point where it can support our military properly, right? That's definitely a thing that we need to do. And we need to pay off the loans that we took in the last war. So that is all needed to happen before we get aggressive. We could bump up our taxation, but I'd like to bring that down, actually. We could enact propertied women. I think there's not a point of changing the rights of women until we can get all the way down to suffrage. 5% workplace ratio is not really worth losing the 5% birth rate. So I think that's going to be necessary. Uh, we do have some territory in Alberta. Can we build any, uh, any oil rigs there? Actually, yes, we can. So we'll get that going. That looks good. We should also hop into here and make sure that that is set to auto expand. So we'll go ahead and do that. Fantastic. Rubber plantations, we would love to auto expand, but we kind of can't. Same with gold mines. Okay. We're just checking through our production methods, making sure everything looks reasonably good here. And indeed it does. Fantastic. So market access is definitely struggling a little bit. We're going to give it until all of this is finished. Oil has been discovered in Alberta again. Okay, cool. We're fine with that. How's our GDP looking? Solid. Okay, that looks good. How are we looking on our peasants? It has dropped a little bit, but that's fine. No major issues there. We are definitely constructing a lot of things. We're not really at the point where we want to further expand our construction sector. I feel like our construction sector is about as expanded as we want it to be. Impuka's shortage of engines right now and insufficient taxation capacity in Yucatan does, of course, mean that we need to build a government administration down here. Okay. Now, are all those railways done? Not quite. Now they are. Cool. So we should let them hire in and give that a week or so. Okay. Okay. That's much better. We'll give it one more week and see if any of these others improve. We are running that engine's input goods shortage. We are working on that. Okay, at this point, we should build railways in New York, two in Pennsylvania, one in West Virginia, one in Alabama, and any others, one in Montana. There we go. We'll get those underway. We're pretty solid financially. I'm going to continue spending down our credit before we bring our military up. I do want to get that all paid off so that we're no longer paying this interest. That'll be fine. Cool. So our military is very expensive to run, right? There's no doubt about that. That is absolutely for sure. I want to check here. Are we actually building those railways? No, we are not. So we're going to move those up to be top priority. I think I also moved a coal mine. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever. No real concerns there. We're going to have our debt paid off in how long? Like 28 weeks? Something like that? Something along those lines. Sure, that's fine. So we're not going to look to attack Oregon until then, at least. Why is this border glowing? I don't know. That's a little strange, but whatever. So we will continue to push through here. We should actually attack Hawaii at some point. Hypothetically, 
If we were to conquer that, who would be angry? Italy. And France might join. What's going on here? They have a defensive pact with Italy, and they're in their customs union. How much do we care about Italy? I think the answer is not very much. Yeah, I mean, they're the, they're the number two great power, apparently. Interesting. Great Britain is nine. France is three. Okay. Well, we can probably handle that, but we definitely don't want to do that until we've got this all under control, right? So I think that's very clear. I want to go into our development and make sure that our railways are set to auto-expand. They should be auto-expanding. So we'll let them do that. We're building so quickly, though, that our auto-expansion of the railways is actually not keeping up. So we're going to need to queue up additional railways. We're going to need, it looks like, one in Massachusetts. We're going to need one in North Carolina. We're going to need one in Louisiana, one in Oklahoma, one in Sonora, one in California, one in American Alberta, one in Mexico. Cool. And this is just because we're building so, so much. I would like... Let's see. We're working on compression ignition right now. Electric railways would help quite a bit, wouldn't it? It would. So getting electric railways, I think, is a big deal. Compression ignition is finishing up. That'll be 30 months. Pasteurization, 6 to 10. Okay, and what do we got going on over here? Dreadnoughts in 5 to 8 months. Sure. And macroeconomics in 7 to 11 weeks. Okay, noted. So we've got these railways under construction, as well as a number of other things. We will be out of debt soon. We paid off about half of our debt. So that's looking great. And we are continuing to construct quite a lot of raw resource extraction. I'm always tempted to just max out our raw resource extraction. But it's probably not the best of ideas, in all honesty. I mean, we, we could. We certainly could. But again, it's probably not the best of ideas to do it that way. We're probably more efficient to just let them auto-expand. So that is the route that we're going for right now. Only 114k now. Okay. That's interesting that that went down quite a bit. It is due to market access issues. Almost certainly. And this engine's input goods shortage certainly isn't helping. So we should probably think about getting ourselves another motor industry region that does not make automobiles, but only makes engines. So sorting by peasants, Missouri is actually the place to build that. So I'm going to queue that up here. And we're definitely going to need some railways in Missouri as well. I'm going to build five there to start with. So we'll get that started, and here we are going to definitely be on our top tier here. We're not going to be on automobile production. Okay. We're not going to subsidize it, but we are going to auto-expand. Oil was discovered in Veracruz. Do we already have oil production there? Probably. Yes, we do. Okay. So that's fine. Rubber Rush in Veracruz as well. Okay, let's go ahead and see about... Oh, I needed to go into resources. Rubber plantations. Apparently, there's not rubber to build in Veracruz. Okay, <laughs> that's reasonably fine. Now, I queued up all of those motor industries at the bottom of the queue. They will be worked on soon enough. France has colonized Con Tonga, rather. Rubber has been discovered in Panama. That's not in our territory at this point. Cool. So we're doing fine financially right now. In fact, we're doing quite well financially. I want to check in here on the status of our railways. Yeah, these are fine. So six and five weeks, respectively. Okay, these are not actually that concerning right now because we need to get our industries built here, right? So building these railways in Missouri is more of a preventative action at this moment. We should probably be starting to work on our motor industries there very soon. Yes, we are starting as of this week. Beautiful. So that's looking good. 
And our railways in Mexico are going to be done soon enough. One week on all of these, two weeks on all of these. Looks good. We're going to need to do more railway work. Obviously. So we're going to let these finish. And our market access will kind of improve. There we go. Emphasis on kind of. We'll get this one more week, and then we will construct again. Okay. So now let's go ahead and build additional railways. Kansas, Illinois, Ohio. Two more in Pennsylvania. Two more in New York. One more in Virginia. One more in Mexico. One more in, my in Wyoming. But I put those at the bottom of the queue. So those are down here. They're going to be a little ways away, but that's fine. We're building all of those motor industries in Missouri. Are we now out of debt? We actually are. So I'm going to, first things first, bring up our military wages. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to bring up our motorized reconnaissance first. Then we're going to bring up our siege artillery. We're slightly negative. Now we're going to bring up our skirmish artillery. We're going to leave our wound dressing where it's at for the moment. Although, actually, let's bring it in to field hospitals. We're going to have an input shortage of opium. That is obviously always going to be the case. We're going to import some from Russia, but it'll be the best we can do. No frontier lasts forever, indeed. Okay, so our market access is a big problem, and that's mostly because if we go into our buildings here, we are running steel passenger carriages. So that's minus to infrastructure. We're on steam trains right now. I would love to get down to electric and then diesel trains. That really does need to be our priority. Does that need to be our pri priority right now or after compression ignition? That's the question. 28 months to research that compared to 23 months to research this. I think we need to switch it. Okay, we need to get going on that. So 23 months means we'll have it in like 1901. An international telephone exchange with Great Britain. Sure. We're probably going to go to war with them eventually, but that seems fine. We're actually at plus 234k right now. That's remarkable. That means that we can almost afford to bump up our military wages again. In fact, right now we can afford it. By a huge margin. Wow. Okay, how are we doing on railways? Looks like those are all done. So we... Or no, they're not done. They, they were queued up at the bottom. I forgot about that. <laughs> they're underway now. Indeed, they're underway. So they're going to be worked on for a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Do a promotion. Sure, whatever. Okay, and then we've got Ulysses Grant here. He's getting quite old. We could fire him. And so we shall. Cool. So we are going to need an additional general, right? And we should probably recruit one. That'll be in the Great Plains HQ. And we'll need one in the Central American HQ. And one in the Mexico HQ. Okay, and then our generals here in the Great Plains HQ and the Mexico HQ need promotions. So, this guy is in the Mexico HQ. We will promote him. Excellent. He's up to 40. We'll promote him one more time, bringing him to 55. That looks correct. And then this guy will need a promotion, bringing him to 40. And then to... Uh, let's see here. Wesley? He's up to 50. Is that correct? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I believe we can construct additional barracks, and we will at the bottom of the queue. And additional naval bases as well. Again, at the bottom of the queue. So we'll get that all built. That's looking good. How long on that queue? Only 32 weeks. We're actually done building our... Building our stuff in Missouri. Wow. Russia is damaging its relations. And how are we looking at our market access here? Yeah, Missouri's going to need more. So is Texas. And Pennsylvania needs a little bit more. 
So does Veracruz. But overall, oh, Virginia does too. And New York. Cool. But overall, that looks good. We're at plus 246k right now. Not bad at all. Insufficient taxation capacity in Veracruz, which means we need a government administration down there, of course. All of that is queued up at the end of the queue. So we should probably move these up to the top of the queue, realistically. These are much more important than, in particular, those naval bases. So we'll get that done for right now. Our barracks are going to be done very soon here. So that looks good. Franco-Canadian Uprising. Now that's interesting. We're going to go after Oregon, of course. Australian people are migrating to Oklahoma. That seems reasonably fine. And I want to check in on our infamy. Uh, we're at 37.3 right now. It feels like we can go after Oregon. So I definitely want to do so. We are going to conquer the state of New Brunswick as our primary here, in case it back down again. We're going to do that, and then we're going to also... Uh, we're going to declare neutral. Actually, I'm not going to declare neutrality in this one. We're just going to chill. We're going to add war goals to conquer states in Washington and in British Columbia. There we go. So currently, no one is supporting them. We'll see if they do. For the time being, we're going to mobilize Zalman here. And he's going to advance on the New Brunswick front. And we're going to mobilize... How about Allen? And he is going to advance on the Washington front. Okay. We'll see if anybody joins this. As of right now, nobody appears to be. And, of course, they don't have much of a choice. So, they these guys are probably going to back down and just give us New Brunswick. I would like it if we had the ability to decline that back down. Russia sided with the Franco-Canadian uprising. So, Russia is getting busy up here instead of dealing with us. I love it. That's really, really good. We are slightly negative right now. Platinian people are migrating to Guerrero. Cool, we like it. So market access is continuing to be a little bit low. Let's check in here on page one. How are we doing on those railways? A little while yet. Okay. That looks reasonably good. We're going to need to deal with this market access, of course, and we are fairly negative financially. What is expensive right now? Opium, artillery. Yeah, that's pretty expected. We need to continue to import opium if we can, but we can't. Artillery is no longer expensive all of a sudden. Cool. That looks good. It looks like nobody's going to get involved here. I'm guessing Oregon's just going to back down. It's almost certain that they're going to back down. So that, of course, means we get New Brunswick over here. Yeah, they back down. So the primary war goal goes to us. That was the reason why I chose this as the primary war goal, because I wanted to only have this one front over here. So do we have a truce with them now? Yes, a five-year truce. Okay, noted. So at this point... This is very interesting. We can't do a coattail diplomatic play, right? Right. Hypothetically, is this the time to go after Hawaii? The answer is definitely maybe. I do think that we should probably have more admirals. We have a lot of ships available. So I'm going to recruit 
Let's see. Are these guys promoted up as much as they can be? Funnily enough, they actually are. Okay. So I'm going to recruit a few additional admirals here. One in the Central America HQ. One in the Pacific Coast HQ. One in the New England HQ. We have a lot of reserve ships here. But we're going to need to promote these guys up at least a bit. 44, 66, and 88, and 110. Cool. We'll promote you up, 44, 51. That's probably it. Yep. 40, and 60, and 80. 100. Okay. So we've got our five fleets here, right? We can definitely have more than five fleets. That's for sure. But I think this is fine. I want to go after Hawaii. And we are going to conquer state. We will face Italy. We may face France. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. And the question becomes, how do we get there? <laughs> that is an interesting question. We've not really done anything like this yet. So. We've got this going on. We're going to be playing against Italy here. I want to send this guy over to... Okay, supporting an amphibious invasion. So I want to have, like, Eustace here doing a naval invasion over here. We're not at war with Hawaii. So we can't actually set this up until the war breaks out. Noted. For the time being, I'm going to have this guy come raid convoys in the Hawaiian Sea Mount chain. This guy is going to patrol the coast in the Dixie HQ. I'd like to have another guy set up to patrol coast up here. So let's get ourselves another admiral. And this will be in the New England HQ. We have plenty of ships there. So we'll recruit up this guy. And he is going to get promoted. A bunch of times. 40, 60, 80, and 100. There we go. So all of the rest of these guys are patrolling. Cool. Now we don't appear to be able to actually do anything out here. Until such a time as we're actually at war. Oil has been discovered in Arkansas. I believe we've already had that. Yes, indeed. So that's fine. We can actually afford to cut our taxes right now, at least for a little bit. Almost. Not quite. Almost. I think we're fine building up our gold reserves anyway. Oil is indeed the future. Radio is now spreading in our territory. Okay. So we can't actually do any sort of a uh, naval invasion out over here just yet. But I do want Eustace to be prepared for that. North German people are moving to Mexico. Okay. That's looking good. And we are, of course, continuing to construct away. So I do want to check our market access here. Okay, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, New York, Vermont. All needs work. So does Mexico. Nothing else for the moment. Sounds good. Cool. So at this point, we need to wait for the... Uh... I suppose we could get war reparations from Italy. <laughs> sure, why not? War reps from Italy... And uh, th these guys are still considered fearful. We may not actually need to do anything here in terms of the invasion. I think that Hawaii is going to back down. So that would be great. We wouldn't even have to mobilize anything. Note that we're not mobilizing early this time. The reason for that is because I... I can't really get anywhere here until we're at war, right? So there's no point in mobilizing. They're going to back down, I think, though. They did. So Hawaii is now ours. Beautiful. We're going to immediately build a railway there. We are also going to immediately begin to work on 
incorporating New Brunswick and the Hawaiian Islands. Both of those will be necessary. And I want to make sure that we have we have a level of all of these for auto expansion purposes. A coffee plantation on, on the Hawaiian Islands sounds good. And a tobacco plantation as well. Uh, we don't need construction sectors. We need to go into the resources. There we go. New Brunswick, sure. Hawaiian Islands get an iron mine. No oil out over here at this point. And a whaling station. Okay, cool. So now we need to go through our buildings and make sure that these are properly set up for auto expansion. Urban centers need to be on arcades, electric streetlights, and public motor carriages. Beautiful. And what else do we have? Well, there's a lot that needs work over here, I see. Rice farms need to be on chemical fertilizers, steam-powered thresher machines, and publicly traded. I wish there was a button to just conform it to what all of your others are. That would be convenient. Refrigerated storage is fine. And there we go. We will auto-expand all of this. Condensing engine pump, dynamite, steam donkeys, rail transportation, and publicly owned. We will auto-expand coffee plantations. Cotton should be on automatic irrigation, rail transportation, and publicly traded. Tea plantations can be down to automatic irrigation, and we definitely want rail transportation. No doubt about that one. Sugar plantations, yup. Banana plantations, all looking good. R logging camps as well. Chainsaws, yeah, that all looks fantastic. Rubber plantations, we would love to auto-expand. Unfortunately, we can't. Steam trawlers, publicly traded. Whaling stations should be on refrigerated storage now as well. And that all looks good. Conscription centers can be moved down. There we go. Naval bases can go down to dreadnoughts. Ports down to modern port. We're at minus 406. I'm not sure how real that is right now. We have insufficient taxation capacity in Oklahoma. That will need to get dealt with. And market access issues in a few of these locations, but we are building in them right now. So that's looking good. Okay, all is fine there. So what else do we need to do? There was something that I wanted to take care of quick. And I've completely forgotten. Oh, right, barracks. Building our military structures. That's what it was. This is bottom tier priority. But it'll get done very quickly. So I do notice that we're quite negative currently, financially, and the reason for that is welfare payments. Presumably giving welfare to some of the territories that we just took over. Uh, let's look at our population here. There are a few unemployed. It's insignificant, though. Uh, yeah, this'll, this'll need a little bit of work, definitely. Goods for military buildings is actually what it is. So, opium, radios, ironclads are currently expensive. So we do need more ironclads. We're going to require additional shipyards. And where do we want to put those? Veracruz, apparently. We're going to queue those up, bottom priority, up to 51 of them. And our shipyards in Veracruz are going to be auto-expanded. We're going to have them be on arc-welded steamships, I think. But we're going to be doing extensive military shipbuilding. We need ironclads. So that'll be fine. How are we doing on our constructions? Okay, all looks good. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode... We are going to work on getting our market access dealt with, as well as, oh, our new election came in here. Do we need to change anything? Probably not. Yeah, it's fine. We're going to work on getting our finances back in line. Ah, oh, it's due to our investment pool. Got it. That's because we're building all of these naval bases. It'll be okay. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. Let's check to see if we already have oil extraction in North Dakota. We do. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogan, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Spartan News, Unisol, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. 
If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.